uh, notification bell so that whenever we are live or we put up a video, uh, you will know. We stream our programs live right there. And uh, if I see a comment on YouTube while we're streaming live, I will read that comment. If I see a comment on YouTube while we're streaming live, uh, I will read that comment. I'll quickly remind you that um, we give it out uh, 10,000 naira to five lucky winners. Can't see one play lottery. Uh, all you have to do is head on to the one play lottery website. That's one play.ng, www.one play.ng, um, um, And you can have uh, your say, www.oneplay.ng. You please click on the box that has a Nigerian full logo. All right, the uh, box that says Nigeria Space Info, uh, Space 99.3. Nigeria, Nigeria Info, 99.3. <laughs> what am I even saying? Click on that box. Um, there's a button that says play for 500 naira. So once you click on the button, it'll take you to another, another page where you can enter your, your details, enter your phone number, and all that, and pay. All right. And then before I leave the studio, we'll do the live draw. I'll pick the five lucky persons who will win uh, 10,000 naira. It's a lottery. All right. So when you play, you play to win. And the more you play, the more your chances of winning. But please play responsibly. Don't go and use all your money to play. Uh -huh. Play responsibly. And it's also not for persons under the age of 18. All right. That being said, um, let's um, get to the conversation. Now, should Nigeria adopt the parliamentary system? Should Nigeria adopt the parliamentary system? Is a simple question I'd like you to answer uh, this morning on the crossfire. Should Nigeria adopt the parliamentary system? Is a simple question. All right. We've been hearing, um, uh, you know, several, several, uh, uh, you know, calls for Nigerians to adopt the parliamentary system. The latest happens to be Professor Patutomi. Um, but of course, before Professor Patutomi has said that, we had um, a group of um, elders who had a, a conference where they called for restructuring, amongst other things, uh, Nigeria to adopt the parliamentary system of government. And before that, members of the House of Representatives, led by Minority Leader uh, Kingsley Chinda, who represents uh, the group of Obiapo federal constituency in River State, had also begun consultations. Um, the House of Reps, in particular, began consultations um, with stakeholders with a view uh, to introducing a parliamentary government bill. All right. And of course, the uh, 60 members of the House of Representatives who are pushing uh, a bill to return the country to uh, from the presidential system to the parliamentary system. And um, they visited several persons like um, uh, Alhaji Amiru Dantata, um, elder statesman who is in Kanu, is a business mogul as well, Yonu Dantata. Um, they've also been visited the leaders of the Arewa Consultative Forum. Um, they visited uh, the leaders of Afeni Fere. Um, they also paid a courtesy call on Chief Edwin Clark. These are um, elder statesmen and leaders of thought in different parts of the country, you know, um, the visit uh, elder Edwin Clark. Um, also, he had some things to say uh, about that. Um, who else? You know, several elder statesmen, all in the bid to converse for support uh, support for this particular uh, uh, bill to be introduced. That is um, introducing or uh, switching Nigeria back to the parliamentary system. Of course, uh, most of you already know what a parliamentary system entails or what a parliamentary system is, uh, which is um, basically a country that operates um, uh, one parliament. Well, not, not one parliament, sorry. Um, uh, how do I put it now? A country that operates um, a parliament as the main organ of government. Okay, So whereas Nigeria has executive and legislature, for a parliamentary system, you'd have the legislature basically f forming the government. The legislature will form the government. So you have a, a head of government who most likely will be a prime minister who should have a parliamentary seat. All right. Who should have a parliamentary seat. Some countries have what you call a parliament, but they don't run the parliamentary system. Some countries have a hybrid. You know, um, some countries have a mixture. They have their own uh, um, creation. Yeah. And we have different examples around the world. But basically, of course, if you have a parliamentary system of government, which Nigeria had before, um, it means that the president or the prime minister will be from amongst the parliamentarians. So you all go to an election, you choose the parliamentarians, and they, um, the, 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 the party that has a majority, that wins the election, depending on what the constitution says, if it's a simple majority, for instance, that party will um, uh, produce the leadership of the country. We've seen in some countries they have um, an allowance or provision for the formation of coalition. 
in Nigeria, we have coalition. All this coalition doesn't amount to much because it's merely verbal support. You know, because it's the parties who say, oh, we're forming a coalition, or um, the candidates who say, okay, I'm stepping down to support APC or PDP or LP during an election, we will not necessarily give the or hand them um, uh, fiscal votes over to the, the candidate they are stepping down to support. Or if they form a coalition and then their candidate steps aside and says, okay, our coalition is pushing this person, it does not automatically translate into fiscal votes. But you see, for the parliamentary system, uh, if the constitution of that country allows for coalition forming, um, um, that coalition will definitely, definitely um, uh, hand fiscal votes to, um, the, uh, to, to, the, to, to the winner. All right, or to whoever they're supporting. So, for instance, in, in Germany, let's just say you have um, a coalition of the Green Party and the CDU, for instance. Um, you know, I, I don't follow German politics as much as I used to. Um, let, let's say the CDU has 50 votes and the Green Party, if they still exist, has uh, uh, 30 votes and they get um, seats, sorry, parliamentary seats, and then they get up to 80. And the other party has... Uh, less than that they get to win you know so we see for coalition forming in 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 italy in 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 india we see it in um in israel where they, they can form coalitions to win an election you see it happening in uh in germany like like i mentioned um so so it could be that like that um we might have um you know someone win a party win the election but doesn't have enough seats to form a government all right they have the majority in parliament but maybe by the constitution they don't have seats enough seats to form a government then they'll be forced to enter into a coalition uh with um another party you know and in countries where you have parties of ideology you have these other parties who maybe share n a similar ideology it could be left of center uh, uh center of center right and right you know right wing party or, or right uh, or center left and leftist party you know, form a coalition, so on and so forth. So, it's quite an interesting uh, dynamic. Now, proponents of, of the parliamentary system uh, in Nigeria always use uh, one term, cost of governance. Cost of governance. All right. Proponents of the parliamentary system use a term, cost of governance. For instance, um, let's look at what the House of Reps uh, uh, is saying. Um, Kingsley Chin, the minority leader, um, described the current presidential system as uh, liberals, all right? He says it is liberals. He adds that um, it is putting a new burden on the nation. Okay, this is when they went to meet the Arewa, Arewa Consultative Forum. Um, says it's putting a new burden on the nation, okay? A, a change of style that will make government decisions arrive at easier and execution carried out easier is what he said. It says a change of style that will make everybody in public office not be a passerby not be sleeping but be on his toes and to be the best to our country nigeria is what he said now it is worthy to note that uh, in, a, in a parliamentary system for instance it depends on what rules are agreed to but most times you see that since the president or the prime minister uh, is a uh, a member of parliament he or she is also expected to be there you know to answer questions he's one of them you know and if he's not doing well he or she can be removed all right, so, so what do you think about this? Um, 0700993993993. I want us to talk about this. Also, I said earlier, Professor Pato Tomi is the latest to have come out uh, to talk about this as well uh, a couple of days ago, um, where he, uh, of course, um, uh, said uh, that uh, there should be a genuine commitment to transition Nigeria from the current presidential system to a parliamentary system. All right? And so he's supporting that. Um, he's saying that... Um, uh, any system of government or governance in a country can work in Nigeria, all right, if the leadership of the country is honest enough to drive it with the general interests of the people at heart. You know, it's quoted in the Punch newspaper. All right, 0700993993. Indeed, when Nigeria had a parliamentary system, there were challenges. So I want us to talk about this in light uh, of that. Hello, good morning. Hello, Buffy. Good morning. Yeah, welcome. What's your name and that contribution, please? My name is Olumuiwa, calling from Nigeria. Welcome, Olumuiwa. We know that the way the country is going, we need restructuring. 
But any discussion they want to do now without carrying on the citizen alone, people should not assess in it. Left for me, if they ask for my own opinion, we want regional system. Nigeria is a country of over 250 countries, ethnicity and languages in one country. So we want regional system whereby in the east they can ask one person come out as a president they vote for him in the west in the north then we now have one person in the that also rock that will not be in charge of our security so whatever the yoruba or the Igbo the outside make they used to develop their own state or their own country i give maybe 25 percent to the federal for security that is what we want. We don't want something o like that. Well, 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 I'm, yes. I'm not talking about restructuring generally. I, I, I would like to believe you heard my question. And I, 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 for emphasis, I repeat again. Yeah. Do you want to see Nigeria transit to the parliamentary system? I have answered you. I say yes, but not what we want right. is regional system. All right. Th thank you very much. 99.3. Good morning. All right. Uh, sorry about that. We lost your call. Um, zero zero two zero one four six five seven one uh, nine zero. We're also taking calls on WhatsApp uh, to where I go to now. Can you hear me? Good morning. Good morning. I'm Lekon Lufela from Mifo. All right, Lekon, welcome. Your contribution, please. Yeah. Well, my own uh, issue is this: if we return to parliamentary system, are we going to import people from USA or? UK to come around Nigeria. The issue, the problem in Nigeria is basically corruption. If you change the system and the people are still the same, you are still going to get the same results. So unless we eradicate corruption through strict laws and rules, then offender is strictly punished. We are not going anywhere. The same people have been ruling Nigeria. If they if they change to another another system, mm -hmm. without uh, there won't be any change mm -hmm. because the corruption is endemic. Is like in our in our nature. Until we eradicate it, they are the same people who see the the, the 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 leader as we be investing money. The money if we are using the money uh, that is uh, uh, that was that is given right. to do a particular project, there won't be any problem all right thank you very so much that's just it. thank you very much for your time 99.3 good morning uh, good morning yeah welcome name and the conversation yeah this is the merchant man um i think when you yeah, merchant man. hello merchant yeah. man. You, you, you've called already today we have a one one caller uh uh one call policy for now throughout the day that means i won't contribute in joyce program no, and no, the rest no, of no, it no you you know you can contribute in joyce program but I, we, what uh, i'm saying let is me that, just quickly make Sorry, sir. On oh, oh, my program, just send a message. That's allow others. I'm so sorry. All right, ninety-nine point three. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Okay, Better International. All right. Thank you very much. What's your name? My name is Godwin. Calling from Loshorolakwe. Welcome. Yes, my contribution is this. It, it, it's just like it is a good idea. A situation whereby the cost of governance can be reduced to a minimal level. But the big question mark there is this: the people that this that are coming to be in charge, yes. are we going to import them from Britain or America? So the only major thing is this: they need to enact a very serious cheap penalty for offenders and corrupt rulers mm. that if you steal 50,000 naira then you go for five years imprisonment all right but if you steal 100,000 naira you go for 10 years imprisonment all right thank you very when much that is united with, uh, with uh, and follow up thank you then that is only the remedy for the situation thank, thank, thank you very you. much for your time i appreciate it Colin. Okay, so is it just about corruption that, oh, it may not work because of corruption? Are there other dynamics involved that we need to look at? Uh, on WhatsApp, Simon in Lekki sent his message in. Simon says, uh, who are the people going to practice the so-called parliamentary system uh, of government? Is it not the same grasshoppers we have today? 
Hey, Abba Simbok. He says, let them approve it. And that's when you see Nigeria's kind of parliamentary system. Our leaders are fantastically corrupt. Simon and Lecky. All right. But some are, will argue that if it's, if it's corruption, maybe in the legislature, for instance, um, uh, won't it be just be one? It's better to have one by one budget party than two now. Uh, what do you think about that? We have an next listener. 99.3, good morning. Your name and contribution. Good morning. I am Pastor Adiola from Suleri. All right, please turn off the radio where you are. Am I okay? No, turn off the radio, please. Uh, I'm far off from the radio now. Are okay. you hearing me? It's better. It's better. Pastor, go on. Okay. Parliamentary system, I think it's better. But the only flaw in it is that uh, at that time we used to have it. it. It became very increasingly difficult to form government. Because sure. if a majority party wins, yeah. and it, uh, the, the, he won on, on say that, fraud or something, fraudulent, yeah. the, the other parties would disagree. But I, we used to have it in Nigeria before. Yeah. And they'll say, okay, you can go alone and do your own. Go ahead and form your government. And uh, it becomes increasingly difficult for, uh, to form government. Yeah. So that is why they introduced the presidential system, whereby you don't need to lobby or go to other parties to negotiate and things like that. So that if you win, you just win all. If you win the whole country, you, are, you, you, are, you yeah. win. So there will be no need for uh, negotiating with other parties. Thank you very much. You're absolutely right with your historical analysis right there. Uh, I wasn't around at that time, uh, but uh, I've read about it. He's he's, he's saying it as it is. Uh, We'll come back from a short break um, because uh, the situation in neighboring Togo has also given uh, another twist to um, a potential parliamentary switch in Nigeria. And where, where people may uh, not have a chance to, like the Togolese are saying, some of them uh, choose their president by themselves. We'll be right back. This is an infomercial. Have you ever dreamed of creating videos that captivate and inspire? Are you in search of that perfect space where your visual ideas can flourish? Or perhaps you're on the lookout for a venue that'll add a touch of magic to your events. Look no further. At We Entertainment Production Limited, we are not just a media production company. We're your gateway to bringing visions to life. Nestled in the heart of Lake Lagos, we offer an oasis for creators like you. Whether it's TV or film production, event coverage that captures every memorable moment, commercial that resonate, breathtaking music videos, the artistry of photography, or content that engages. We have it all. Plus, with our state-of-the-art studio rentals, you're equipped with professional-grade gear from the get-go. At We Entertainment Production Limited, we believe in doing beautiful things. This is our promise to you. Get in touch today. Call us at 0908-826-5049. 0908-826-5049. Or email info at web.ng. That is, in capital letters, info at wep.ng. We Entertainment Production Limited, where beautiful things happen. Okay, we have a, a commercial up next um, after that message. We'll be right back. Uh, uh, we're taking your thoughts on, on this uh, debate. Like I said, um, set several um, you know leaders of thought, uh, opinion, um, uh, elder statesmen have spoken on this. For instance, by Debanjo of Afeni Fera has spoken in support. Um, uh, Payadu and Kalaka has spoken in support. Dan Tata has spoken in support. We have 60 House of Reps members and so on and so forth. Part of Tomi as well. So we'll be right back. Please stay with us. You are listening to your number one station for talk. 99.3 Nigeria Info. 99.3 Nigeria Info. Let's talk. Start your day and have a good time. He won't cream out. Oh, where you need to have the break time. He won't cream out. It's not see, but for Gary time. He won't cream out. Cream out. He won't cream out. Every parent wants to see their child growing up happy and healthy. Introducing Renzo Vitamins for Kids, a secret to your child's daily nutrition and boundless joy. With Renzo Vitamins, your child will have the energy to embrace every moment and unlock their full potential. Give your child a head start in life with Renzo Vitamins for Kids because a happy child is a healthy child. 
The holy month of Ramadan is upon us. As we embark on this journey, let's not forget to show love through sharing. Stay ahead with daily power from Sahur to Iftar. Join us every Monday to Friday as we explore the spiritual and physical benefits of the month. The show comes with exciting recipes that will make your Sahur and Iftar memorable. Catch us on our YouTube page, Holandia Dairy Nigeria. This Ramadan, stay ahead with daily power. Ramadan Mubarak from Holandia. Are you a self-employed artisan, accountant, lawyer, mechanic, tailor, market man or woman? Are you worried about the poverty that is associated with old age? Then worry no more. We have good news for you and it is called the Micro Pension Scheme. The Micro Pension Scheme is part of the Pension 5-Year Strategic Plan to increase the contributory pension scheme to 20 million contributors by 2019 and has three key benefits. One, as a contributor, you would have access to regular stream of retirement income at old age. Plus, you would enjoy various incentives offered by your pension fund administrators. Two, you would be well informed financially, have financial freedom, and your wealth will be transferred to your loved ones in the event of death. Three, the scheme will promote growth and development of capital, mortgage, and insurance market, which will positively affect the national economy. Think micro pension scheme. Think premium pension. Premium pension. Your assurance for retirement. So creamy, so good. Aisha, why do you have so many tins and sachets of cowbell? Oh, it's what I plan to share this Ramadan. <laughs> My sister, you can start by sharing some with me now. Oh yeah, take. It's Ramadan after all. In this holy month, share the nourishing goodness of cowbell with friends and family. It contains vitamin B9, Vitarich, and it's so creamy, so good. Ramadan Kareem. Does your child dream of becoming a football champion? Then here is your chance to ignite his or her passion at the 10th edition of the Green Springs Cano Football Camp, where your child will be trained like a pro by top European coaches and be inspired by the legendary Cano One Corps. Watch your child hone his or her skills, build confidence, and learn advanced football tactics. At the end of the camp, one exceptional player gets a full scholarship into Green Springs School. Don't miss out on this exciting opportunity to make your child's football dream a reality. The camp will take place from the 7th to the 12th of April 2024 at the Green Spring School, Lekki Campus in Lagos. Register now via www.greenspringsschool.com or call 0817-540-1881. 0817-540-1881 to learn more. He done of trading himself. James, I hello. Susan, I beg. <laughs> Say the wine mini. For where? You who no longer depend solely on your salary. So you people trade and don't carry us along in this office, Abby. Jerry, now you they talk like this. Who doesn't want an extra stream of income? But I'm still looking for better trading conditions, I beg. Fast execution of my trades and possibly an account where swap. Look, go carry all my profits where I don't know. Guy, HFM.com. For me, I wouldn't mind better spreads at all. And it wouldn't be a bad idea to be able to make withdrawals in a flash. All we want is transparency and great customer service. Guys, I said HFM.com. Which, Which one is, is HFM.com HFM again? again? Switch to HFM today to enjoy ultra-fast execution. 1 to 2,000 leverage, tight spreads, swap free and more. Guys, show us the way now. Wait, oh, are you sure deposits and withdrawals are sharp, sharp? I said HFM.com. Visit www.hfm.com. HFM, online trading at its finest. <laughs> Every day when my children return from school, I don't recognize them. Hello? Do I know you? <laughs> it's us, mommy. But these dirty, sweaty uniforms and socks, we're clean in the morning. Everything don't transform. I understand, though. School is hectic. It takes energy to come home this transformed. So I make sure they have some nutritious Milo at breakfast. Your kids need nourishing energy. Give them the new and improved Milo at breakfast. It has nutrients that support energy release to help them get the most out of their day. Milo, energy to go further. Milo. You are listening to your number one station for talk. Your number one station for talk. 99.3 Nigeria Info. Let's talk. This is Morning Crossfire on 99.3 Nigeria Info. We are back. 
<laughs> oh my we are back well uh, uh, let me do that in the spirit of uh, P professor pat to tommy who as i think one of the latest uh, to weigh in on this issue of the parliamentary system and whether nigeria needs to get back there and for those who do not know that was a signature um uh line when he was a host of patito's gang uh, on television i think for a long time that was the only program that you know uh, uh discussed politics and the state of the nation and uh you know just without any um uh without any chains and they were just free to talk about what they want to talk about um you know when i joined the media and it's, it's, it's particular television you know it's largely you know people are just afraid to talk about the government because we're still recovering from the military days you know and uh Patricio's gang was was quite lively so he used to say that well i had to do that because he is one of those uh dramatist personnel in our topic today um professor Pato toby good morning to you how are you um uh he is waiting on this talk or debate about whether nigeria should get back to um uh, the parliamentary system and uh, he um according to an article in the punch punch uh, is saying that uh, the parliamentary system is good for nigeria okay and he supports a switch back to the parliamentary system from the presidential uh, system and um of course um he is also weighing in uh saying that the present crop of nigerian leaders have allowed themselves to be driven uh, by what he calls a quest for personal uh, possession or the paper says rather uh, she's stressing uh, that leadership uh, is about betterment of the vast majority rather than a privileged few so maybe he feels that the parliamentary system is is better in fact this is what he says as quoted by the paper um he says quote it is true that systems have consequences a parliamentary system is much cheaper all right much cheaper to run there's a political economy though. for those who are saying it's not going to be cheaper it's, he says much cheaper you know, to run on the presidential system. Even the nature of conversing for the office, which is the root of corruption, he said, is different. All right. In terms of accountability, Padutomi says it is easier to hold people accountable in the parliamentary system because the government can fall at any time. And once there is a vote of no confidence, the government falls and the new government has to emerge. Uh, but in the presidential system, the president holds you hostage for four years and you can't hold them to account. That's what he says. And he said something that made me laugh a bit. <laughs> you know, if you read the interview that he had with the punch, um, and uh, probably we'll have him here uh, next time, we have him for some other topic or something, we can ask him uh, this question. But uh, he says, uh, one clown, uh, he described the presidential system as one clown, uh, a system where one clown, 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 runs all over the country sharing money, and the next morning you call him president. Hey, Sheneke me, Sheneke me. One crown clown runs all over the country sharing money, and the next morning you call him president. Um, but but is the parliamentary system necessarily uh, the panacea for all that Nigerians do not like about the politics of the day and all the problems in the country? Will it change anything, really? Will it change anything? Um, but this whole debate in recent weeks uh, was started by the House of Representatives, um, which forms the basis for our discussion this morning. In particular, 60 members of Nigeria's lower legislative house um, have been going around the country on um, consultation, speaking to leaders of thought and opinion, um, leaders of um, different social, you know, political and cultural organizations um, conversing for their support. And most of them are saying they support this. Um, and this group is led by the minority leader of the House of Representatives, Honorable Kingsley Chinda, who feels that it will be um, uh, easier uh, to govern Nigeria if you have a parliamentary system. The likes of uh, Araj Aminu Dantata, the Kanu elder statesman and business mogul, the likes of Paidwin Clark, the Naja Delta leader, the likes of pa Ayo Adebanjo of Afeni Fere, I know why I described him that, and so on and so forth um, uh, have, have all spoken about this. Um, but are, are there other disadvantages to this? For instance, let's look at what Kutoglis is saying. For years, for years, Togo has been ruled by two people. Indeed, Togo has had an, uh, a democracy, you know, but what is democracy in the real sense of the word? Yasime Yadima ruled Togo for decades and then handed over to his son, Fori Asimbi, who's been there for decades as well. And of course, the likes of Gail Crystal Limpio, who tried to wrest power from Yasimbe Yadima, paid the price. Okay? Um, right now, the Togolese opposition are saying 
they've been they've been long suffering <laughs> in fact at the point the Togolese opposition was opposition in diaspora they feel that this move by um uh, there's been a development so but i won't talk about that now but this move by iyadema on yasimbe sorry um to uh or the parliament on the yasimbe to uh, uh you know switch the country to the parliamentary system it will disenfranchise voters from choosing their their president or their prime minister their leader the head of state or head of government and that to an extent is true because technically you don't choose the president or practically you don't choose a president literally you don't choose a president or the head of government all right you vote for your your parliamentarian who we call honorable this and honorable that all right you vote for your member of parliament and then they sit down and decide who is going to be the party's leader. You know, you may already know who the party's leader is. For instance, in the UK, you have the leader of um, the uh, the Conservative Party, the Tories, who is Rishi Sunak. Okay, after who stepped down, Theresa May. Uh, stepped down. Was it Theresa May? No, the the other lady. What's the name? The new one. Um, what was her name again? I can't remember. After she stepped down, he became the leader of the party and automatically um, the prime minister. All right? In the UK still, the leader of the, um, the Liberal Party in the UK is also will become the, uh, the prime minister if the party wins the election. So I already know who he is. You know? We already know who he is. In Canada... The, Lib the head of the Liberal uh, uh, Party in Canada, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, and so on and so forth. So it could be argued that the people will know who will become their Prime Minister or the head of government if a party wins. You know, So I, I don't know what you think about that. Anyway, let's go back to the phone line. 0201-465-7190. Good morning. Hello, good morning. All right, sorry about that. Please call back. Um, so, will this disenfranchise Nigerians um, or not? Will this disenfranchise Nigerians or not? Um, we can learn from the Togo experience as we speak. Hello, good morning. Good morning, Mr. Kofi Batex. Good morning. Please go on. I'm from India. My take on this issue is that it is a system of government that matters, but the people that are running the government. The biggest problem we've had so far is that uh, we don't have a nationalist in the mold of Nelson Mandela, Kwame Nkrumah, uh, the late uh, Chief Obafemi Awolowo, that was never president. So all we need is a transparent, free and fair election that will usher in such nationalists. Already we have seen some people that are showing flashes of true nationalism. You know, such people can never get into the system with the present uh, way of uh, doing things in Nigeria. So, but under a free and fair election, they will have their chance, and that is the way to go. All right. Thank you, Kofi, and God bless you. Thank you very much for your time. I appreciate you calling in. Okay, I, I, I made a mistake. I was trying to refer to the Labour Party in the UK, uh, where uh, Kestema, who is the um, an Arsenal fan, uh, a very uh, affable gentleman uh, is uh, the leader. I think before now it was, um, what was the name of the other guy again? Uh, Jeremy Corbyn. 99.3, good morning. Unless you call there. Uh, okay, sorry about that. A message here. Um, this one says it's a brilliant idea to a brilliant idea to bring back the parliamentary democracy where the legislatures, uh, legislators will uh, be appointed as council um, of ministers as well, as well and their leader will uh, be the head of government but my concern is do we still need bicameralism in parliament um, because i want unicameral legislature where the head of legislature is prime minister and the head of council of ministers so we won't be appointing jobless people outside government uh like the presidential system okay very affordable for, for niger kelvin from niger yeah i think that's what the uh, house of reps members are proposing because we had king sichin down there uh, say that um it will be um, uh, what do you call it again? Uh, cheaper. He, he'll be on the program soon. Uh, he'll be on the program soon. He's saying it'll be cheaper. All right, 99.3, good morning. Hello, Kofi, good morning. Welcome. What's your name? 
this market woman. All right, back room. Have, yeah, welcome. Have you called today? No. Ah, okay. Have you heard my voice today? Have you called today? Is a simple answer. No, yes or sir. No. Very good. Please go on. Thank you. There is no system you will put in place in this country that will work now. Our problem is the people who limit. Okay. That is our problem. And again, our law is not being strengthened. So they should put those things in places, laws that can get these people out of power. Not that uh, when you buy this for judges, buy this for increase their salary, give them all sorts of things, they cannot be able to talk. We don't want those kind of system of government. So these people, they are our problem, not the system. Thank you. All right. The system is not a problem, but the people, politicians are the problem. Mark Roman is good to hear from you. Thank you very much for your call. A message here says, um, the problem of Nigeria today is not the type of uh, government we are running, but the type of people that are running the government. Uh, bring uh, monarchy or parliamentary uh, uh, system, nothing will work as long as these crop of politicians are alive. Uh, innocent, you know, should he? Thank you very much. Are the politicians really the problem of Nigeria? Um, Mr. Bully Nikoru says, um, uh, as beautiful as the parliamentary system of government sounds, the only snag is... It can't thrive or hold sway in Nigeria. Uh, you'll discover that those who will eventually implement it will be the ones to cut corners, mar the process altogether. Bottom line, uh, restructuring and total overhaul of the entire government uh, is welcome development. Okay, good to hear from you. Thank you very much. Another one here reads, if we change our system of government, I don't know why you're queer, uh, and we fail to change the negative mentality of Nigeria, public office holders, uh, or Nigeria's public office holders, okay, we're heading nowhere. Religious leaders should help change the mentality of Nigerian leadership. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, Jimmy Lomak is in Joss. He says the parliamentary system of government remains. Reminds me of what you said this morning about putting new wine, new wine in old bottle. Our problem is corruption. Uh, he says, sorry about that. Our problem is corruption and non-implementation of constitutional law. Uh, until that is done, Nigeria will keep running a, a rat race. Jimmy, good to hear from you. Uh, we have a call on uh, Skype. Good morning. Hello, good morning. Welcome. Your name and contribution, please. Yeah, my name is Ayo. Ayo, where are you listening to us from? Yeah, I'm listening I'm listening from the UK. All right, Ayo, welcome. Yeah, um, honestly speaking, I actually love the parliamentary system of government because it's it has a very high level of accountability. But if you remember, in the First Republic, we were actually practicing the parliamentary system and then the politicians found a way to ruin it by rigging right. so i agree with the other caller that you know no matter the system you bring it's the people that would spoil it so right. honestly it's 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 like a paradox right. we don't i really don't know what system will work hmm. what will work really the current set of politicians we have we really need to get them out and you were trying to remember Liz strauss yeah, yeah, Alice Strauss. I mean, she was so brief, uh, I can't even remember her name. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, uh, very brief. So brief. They didn't even let her breathe. <laughs> I'm telling you, she just left as quickly as she came. Brother, thank you. You're, you're a good student of history for your reminders of the difficulties Nigeria faced uh, when uh, it, it yeah. at, uh, adopted the parliamentary system back in. It was chaotic. It was chaotic, really. Yes, it, it is. Yes, all right. And it was wonderful it was so wonderful everything mm -hmm. was everybody was developing at their pace yeah. but then they just wanted to remove they just had to rig it and ruin it for us all so right. All right. it's well it's thank well. you thank you very all much right. i'm yeah. to hear from you thank you very much uh, some will also argue that um and because of course the presidential system creates a very powerful president and the nigerian constitution gives the president sweeping powers really um it, the constitution gives the president almost a blank check this present constitution and it's almost even if in the uh, what what the people get as benefits of the constitution? Someone say it takes it gives it to you with the left hand and takes it away with the right hand. Because you read the constitution uh, uh, of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, nineteen ninety nine, as amended, which I've read at least twice, um, and 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 you realize that some of the benefits and rights that Nigerians have still another section will take it away. But some will also argue that Nigerians need a president with sweeping powers. Look look at the parliament, for instance, the House of Reps and the Senate. Are they able to stay together? Are they able to stay united? Are they able to stay stable? Um, imagine the National Assembly now being the one running the country. 
Um, I'm just saying. That's another argument. That's another side of it that someone can raise. Um, that um, we have a very uh, shaky legislature, um, which, you know, it's still, we're still trying to see how strong they can be. Maybe another point could be that well, the legislature itself is also um, not strong because they're not totally independent of executive influence. Um, and that's why they're not strong. But give them that independence and the power, um, you know, to this, determine who becomes a leader of government. And you see them flourish. That could be another argument. But, well, some will say Nigeria needs a strong leader. Because um, when you have the parliament, there's chaos. They'll be spending time fighting to determine who or to remain in power, determine who. And then that chaos that we see every day or every week or every month will now play out in our national lives. And the country will stall. All right? The country will stall. Is it a parliament where we don't see people in their seats half of the year? Or the parliament where they give themselves holidays uh, half of the year? <laughs> of days. You know, so the arguments here and there, you know, but your thoughts are welcome. But those who say that Nigeria had issues when the country uh, uh, practiced a parliamentary system briefly, there were issues. There were real serious issues. But maybe those issues were for that time. And we can look for ways to, you know, ensure that systems are put in place to uh, prevent those from happening again. I want your thoughts. Let's go back to the phone lines. Good morning. Hello, good morning. Welcome. What's your name? I'm Godwin. Call you from San God. All right, Godwin, welcome. Yeah, parliamentary system. To me, it's like a dog going back to his vomit. It has happened before. And the reason we all know, you've explained a little. So, and another thing you look into it, what caliber of people wants to run that parliamentary system? Is it not the same human being we are having here? Do they come from this space? They will still, they will still play out the Nigerian character. In that system, let me tell you, when we are in military, we said it is military, we, we don't want it, it's not there. We have come, they say democracy, or we cry for that democracy. Now we are in the democracy. Today we are still crying for another type of democracy. What will work? It is our character that will change, not democracy or military or, or monarchy or what. Our character build strong institutions. What happened to the presidential? I know you might be running it. We don't think it's wrong. It's our character. All right. It's our character. Build strong institutions. All right. Thank you very much for your time. Build strong institutions. He says, uh, Dio Dada is on Facebook. Um, he says, uh, uh, Christ came as a leader that sacrificed his lifetime, fed the needy, saved lost souls. But what will have the rulers done? Uh, your rulers done. They came to do vote buying, agbero intimidation, pocket institutions, and making them ineffective. A kind of long message, which I wish you could. Um, you could uh, address the topic on the table this morning. Uh, okay, I see some more messages here. This one says, as long as the National Assembly members will choose the president, then nothing will change. Haven't you noticed how uh, they seem to hardly be any dissenting voice whenever a bill is put forth that favors the presidency? Genesis from Bariga. All right, Genesis. But maybe it's because they don't have that freedom um, uh, and they're not free from that on the UX uh, influence of the executive which may not be there if they uh, are the ones in charge. I don't know. I'm just asking. Uh, Ofe Jr. says that nothing is wrong with the presidential system, uh, just that it is expensive. Parliamentary system will not change anything as long as Nigerians operate it. Nigeria is too corrupt. They can manipulate the system. All right? You remind me of um, the Italian experience. You know, Italy, sometimes they change their prime minister every six, six months. They will fight or they will move, slap themselves. They will pull their chairs off. They will throw chairs at each other. It will change the prime minister. After three months, there'll be another scandal. They will vote him out, put another one in. You know, it, it's been a long for years. Italy has had an unstable, you know. I think in, in India, in their own parliament, they had to um, weld the chairs to the ground because they were always fighting. Yeah, They'll be throwing chairs at each other and it was so unstable. I don't know, but that, that's democracy, as some will say. That's democracy, you know. Um, all right, I'll take a last message here. This one says, uh, okay, this is not considering what we're talking about. Uh, we have to go. Uh, this one says a country, problem of a country is likened to someone who has inbuilt body order. Uh, no matter how many times he or she changes the clothes to the day, the order permits, or uh, admits, uh, please let us kill corruption and change our, our dirty ways of life. Then it'll work. Uh, okay, Idara, good morning. Too good to hear from you. Um, when uh, we come back, I'll, I'll do the one play live draw. We have a quick message, and I'll read a couple of messages before we go, and we'll pick the one. Keep playing www.oneplay.com. 
dot uh, ng. Uh, okay. All right. All right. I think I've cleared those messages. This one says, uh, imagine the current National Assembly was uh, Parliament. Uh, then they choose Akwebi to be the Prime Minister without a uh, say. <laughs> and he'd be going around the country throwing tantrums and fighting who no fight him. We'll be right back. Flight travel a wolf. Book your tickets on Access More app and save 20,000 naira for shopping every day from March 28th till April 10th. This is an infomercial. An infomercial. <laughs> that must, last message is funny. Oh. But come on, if, if, if we had a parliamentary summer, I assure you, Akwabia won't be the prime minister. Because first of all, you have to be the leader um, of the party. I probably won't be the prime minister because he's new in APC. He's even new, relatively new in the Senate. You know, but maybe because the president wants him to be there, that's why he's there. So if if we had a parliamentary system, Tinvo will win have to win a, a parliamentary seat um here in Lagos, his constituency, wherever it is. And then um when the if they win the majority in the National Assembly, uh or the parliament, then he can be the leader. But you see, the thing about it is we'll see a lot of regional politics and tribal politics. Because a particular part of the country can say, okay, we have the majority of seats. We have the majority of people. Um, let's just have our own party. And then a part of the country may not be able to produce uh, uh, the prime minister because they don't have as many seats as another part of the country. And then we now start you know, fighting ourselves you know, on the basis of how's your body, Igbo, and all that. You know? There was a reason why Nigeria switched to the, the, the presidential system in 1979 with the 1979 constitution. We don't have time for that, but you can Google it, read on There's a lot of it on the internet. There's a reason why Nigeria switched to the presidential system in 1979. But, 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 the parliamentary system has benefits. And um, the question is up to you, Nigerians, to decide what system of government you want to run. All right? That's the question. And we'll continue this conversation and this debate as the days and weeks approach. My name is Kofi Bartel, so let's take a commercial. I'll be back to say goodbye right here on the Morning Crossfire. Please stay with us. 99.3 Nigeria Info. We'll be right back. Your day, I have a good time. 99.3 Nigeria Info. We are more than just radio. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at Nigeria Info FM. Check us out on Facebook at Nigeria Info 99.3. Follow us on Twitter at Nigeria Info FM and on Instagram at Nigeria Info FM Lagos for live updates as it happens. 99.3 Nigeria Info. Let's talk. 99.3 Nigeria Info. We are more than 